Hey, what's good everybody? It's your boy Tom, back with another video. Now in this video I'm going to be exposing Jesus Phony Exposers, which will be South Park TV series. <laughs> Let me tell you, this show will make fun of any race, culture, person, religion, or anything, man. This is straight blasphemy in one of the episodes of South Park, where people falsely expose Jesus Christ for doing miracles by taking drugs and not using his own divine powers from, from God. When I watched that episode last year, I was just thinking to myself, unbelievable, unbelievable, man. I can't believe how much they uh, got to make up lies on Jesus and be so damn disrespectful to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and on who the guy really is and just be friggin' God-haters. Yeah. But yeah, I only seen the episode once last year and it came to my mind over a week ago feeling that God led me to the idea of doing this video. But let me tell you, South Park people, you never heard of Jesus doing drugs to do miracles or even lived or even lived in his time when he was walking the earth. So you have absolutely no right to falsely judge someone when you don't even fully know them. Y'all need to repent because y'all are going to have to really pay for that. Like, I don't get why uh, you people got to have a problem with God and just be hating on him. On him and really try to, like, blaspheme against him as much as you can. We don't even realize that God's got the power to, like, to give you the worst torment and suffering in hell for eternity, and uh, you don't want that, because trust me, you'll regret it. And I never had anything against God or Jesus, even when I was living worldly and secular most of my life, or feel like God's been looking out for, uh, for me, looking out for me and slowly growing through each step of the way to know more about God and His universe, and slowly come into His kingdom for His purpose on my life. But back to this topic of South Park, even in two episodes, I never approved of them making God look like this dirty rat. As I'll show you a quick image of how they make him look. Okay, and God would not look like this because he can look like however he wants, even though we've never seen him before, because Satan can also appear in different looks. As the Bible says, he can come disguised as an angel of light to deceive folks. They also make Satan look like a queer, and they uh, also make him act like a rich, spoiled teenage girl on that show. So South Park making Satan look gay is sigh, because Satan do got gay demons that work for his kingdom to demonize people and making them gay. Yeah. And even my friend uh, Chris Sale told me on that show that they made God's angels look like weak sissies and pansies. And shout out to Chris, a to Chris Sale again, and keep that good attitude you got, because you're awesome as well, my brother in Christ. <laughs> Cell Park will also give you some uh, truths. Where in one episode, uh, they showed Michael Jackson's spirit stuck on the earth. Because uh, I learned this in one of Tiario's video about uh, Ghost, where he was saying 9 out of 10 Michael Jackson's soul is still roaming the earth because of his unsolved murder. And they have video footage of Michael Jackson's ghost seen at the Neverland Ranch. And apparently his sister, L Latoya Jackson, was talking to his ghost. So uh, hopefully when Michael's... Jackson's murder is solved, he can hopefully go up to heaven to live with God, Jesus, and the other people. <laughs> but I tell you, I used to not believe in ghosts when I was a kid. But I guess it would make sense, since Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost, as it says in the book of Matthew chapter 14, verse 26 and 27, as I'm, I'm going to go to that scripture right now and uh, read it. Alright, so uh, Matthew chapter 14, verse 26 and 27, it says, uh, When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified, and they fear they cry out, it's a ghost. <laughs> but Jesus spoke to them at once, don't be afraid, he said, take courage, I am here. So that tells you right there. And if your soul is trapped on the earth, then you're considered a ghost. But I thought uh, when you died, you either go to heaven or hell right away. But before I used to think of that, I did have thoughts thinking after some people die, their souls can be stuck on the earth. As I think I had this dream about it, before a long time ago. So you guess my old thoughts were right. <laughs> and all this information that I'm giving y'all is is in the ghost book that my friend Tiario was uh, revealing to us in his video about ghost. But that makes sense of people getting punished differently and going to different areas of places after they die. Depending how the person lived life on earth. Because I've heard some Christians say everyone's going to suffer the same in hell due to the, due to the fact of all sins being equal. I mean, come on, yo. There's 
different areas in hell where people suffered differently depending on how bad their sins were and how they lived they last. <laughs> it just makes sense. It's that way because our true God is a righteous judge. And what's clever is I had this dream last night about uh, this Halloween Simpsons episode where when Homer died, he went up to heaven, then, then St. Peter gave him another chance to go back down to earth as a ghost and would let him into heaven if he does at least one good deed. And I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen that episode. But Another truth Cell Park even said in another episode uh, where the pastor character was saying Halloween is an abomination upon God and that it's anti-God. And that is true, because Halloween is obviously demonic. When you look at it, when you look at how it is, with all these demonic spirits, which is another satanic crap that Halloween pushes, where people be dressing like, where people be dressing up like demonic creatures. And, and I did a past video talking about exposing Halloween. I can't believe even Christians celebrate this stuff. Or one Christian says, Halloween is not evil, like it used to when it started off. Basically saying it's not evil anymore, it's got better. Like, nah, man, it's still evil Like when you look at it with an open eye. Nah. And Jesus Christ never celebrated Halloween back then. And I'm glad to see real people of God not being of it. But anyway, I hope I blessed y'all with this information, as I'm always glad to do videos to be a real blessing to a lot of you guys. As we gotta continue to be blessings to each other, since God's about staying connected and bringing people together. As my attitude would be, screw segregation. Because all different kinds of people can be interesting or awesome, since God can use anyone he wants. And F segregation is the one thing I like that rapper Lil Wayne, who I used to listen to, uh, said in one song. But anyway, you guys have a good one. So, uh, take care.